And we'll say, was this his new girlfriend or who is this? What's happening, free game? We are coming to you live, but not live, from inside our front room at home. We're here for a bit of a different video. It's a sitting down video. A sitting down video, yeah. Because we wanted to share with you guys our New Year's resolutions and goals, I guess, aren't they? Yeah, for I think mostly goals. Yeah, for 2019. As we always find it really helpful to put out there what you really aim to achieve for the year. And also as well, you know, we try and provide a lot of inspiring content. So we're hoping that any of these things that we come out with might inspire you guys to achieve the things that you want as well. And as you can see, we still have the Christmas tree up. Going down after this video. I was, I was too tired to take it down last Last night, but I think we're still in the threshold of there's you go past a certain date and then it can be like bad luck or something. Maybe, yeah. Brett uh, Rawlings, if you're watching, just leave it alone, okay? It's a friend yeah. of mine who just basically gave me loads of hassle for having it up apparently too late. I think we're still safe, I think we're still all we right are, with it, regardless of when this video goes out. But I am going to take it down tonight. That can be our first goal. <laughs> it doesn't feel like Christmas anymore, so it's got to come down. Right, so if you see us looking down, it's because we have written our goals on the laptop. We can't remember every single one at it's the moment. It's an extensive list. Yeah, I think there's about 30 goals on this list. Yeah, it's quite good. a few. You can't to have, have too many. No, it's good to have lots of goals. All right, so the first one. Last year we made 160 videos on YouTube, Katie okay, actually counted them all, and so it is our goal to do that much, if not probably more, this whole year as well. Yeah, because we realised that YouTube has just brought us so many joys and so many opportunities and we've met so many friends that we just think, why not keep doing it, you know? So mm. yeah, we're going to do the same again, if not more. We'd like to visit three new countries. We've been to quite a few countries this year, but we'd like to visit some new ones as well. So three new ones. Yeah. Actually, let us know in the comments below, where do you think we should visit or what countries would you like to visit? Yeah, I really, I'm thinking about Australia loads. Yeah, and Australia. Other European countries. Ireland was mentioned a lot before. It was, yeah. We've got to do it. Three new countries. That's two out of three. This one I can only assume was from Katie. Not to eat so much chocolate. I don't know what Ramus Lupin would think about that. Not everyone's going to know who Ramus Lupin is. Potterheads, tell me that you know what Ray, who Ramus Lupin is. Comment below. Come on, let's put Katie in her place here. I'm still going to eat chocolate all the time, but just not like as much. Consciously reducing. We also really like to lessen the amount of things we have, getting rid of things. We had a big Christmas recently, but we're very conscious with the presents we bought of things that will either be reused or will last long. But in general, we are always trying to lessen things and that's a real target this yeah, year. Yeah, I feel like my life is less stressful. Our lives are less stressful when we have less things. So this one's a really important one for me and I really want to nail down and that is to give away 10% of our earnings. Yeah, this is really important. We do this anyway, but we don't do it. We give a lot away anyway to charities and different people, but um, nothing is frequently regimented. Yeah, we just want to make sure we're doing it every single month. Charities, homeless people, like charities that are important to us. We just feel like we just want to give back as much as we can. This next one is to keep our home tidier. Yeah. Speak for yourself. I'm the tidy one. Out it is too. quite tidy. I, I feel like this is one of the most tidiest places but yeah I just want if Jojo gets all his Lego out get it put away straight away it, once he's done playing with it and me but it's like sometimes it's like oh no we'll leave it out till tomorrow because you want to play with it or something yeah it's important to continue your project no I just feel like I'm more organized like yeah I'm just more productive when I've, when things are tidier. Clearer house, clearer mind. And that's where minimising our possessions and everything will come in play as well. Yeah, obviously we love making a mess. And you know, we've made messes on a, an occasion. But it's to know when the fun is to stop and you should tidy up. Yeah, I just feel like I'm more productive uh, when things are tidier and I'm more organised. We also want to make sure that we are committing to doing yoga every single day. We were doing this at one point. We were we? doing it every single day without fail. It was, like, it, was, it was part of our routine, but with going away, uh, when we went away before Christmas and Christmas and everything, it just like, you know what it's like, things you just... You let other things take over. Really. slip out the routine. So yeah, we just want to get back into that routine again. And also another thing to have in every single day is our gratitude. This is so important, how we start our day. Yeah. You may think for our morning routine that this is part of that. But it's something, again, similar to yoga, it's just kind of slipped yeah. out there. It's not happening as frequently. Because it's so important, guys. I can't stress this enough to 
make sure you say your gratitude. Always think about what you're grateful for in life. It's powerful stuff to do it. It can it, really make, not only make you feel good, but it can attract more positivity into your life in that way as well. Yeah. We want to continue to answer as many comments as we can. We try and keep on top of this a lot, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we read all your comments, guys, and at the moment we try our best to answer comments or at least heart them, let you guys know that we've read them. And um, so, yeah, no matter how many comments we get, we do try and stay on top of that. So, we, yeah, we're going to continue that. This is a big target, of course. We want to hit 100,000 subscribers. You'll see that sits on our dream board in the background of most videos. This is, yeah, this is our next target as far as a subscriber count on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, it was never a thing when we first started YouTube. It wasn't, mm -hmm. we didn't really care how many subscribers we had. And I remember Bob saying, if we can inspire one person, then that's good. But yeah, we just thought it, it's a good goal. It's yeah. on our dream board and hopefully that will come in uh, soon in 2019. Inspiring people is still always the absolute top goal, but you can't you really can, ever measure that, can if you? If you can inspire more people, then great. This is one for me really, because you don't have a problem with this, but I sort of struggle a bit. Yeah. It's drinking enough water, so I'm gonna try and stick to drinking eight glasses of water every day. They're only like small glasses that I drink. But you have a system. When you have a small amount, you feel like that'll get down. If you see a large amount, you don't touch it really, do you? Yeah, I have like this thing that goes off on my computer or my phone every hour to remind me to drink water, so. Yeah, water, if you don't know the benefits of drinking enough water, then look it up. I, I won't go into them now because this will end up being a, um, a ridiculously long video, but yeah, what, drinking enough water is really important. Oh, I like this one. Learn to do a headstand. Both of us. Well, you can all I'm, really I'm, do one. I can, yeah, I'm close, but it depends who I'm around. If I just try and do a headstand all by myself, then yeah. But other people will say, no, you're not doing it properly, or yeah. you need to do this first. I can do it, I <laughs> can do it, right. I can do it with a cushion under my head and up the wall. Yeah, I can do it, I need something under my head. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's good, it's, it's strengthening a lot, it only works your core. It's a good thing to practice, you can practice anywhere. Yeah. So we will master that, you will see it on video. There's one for Jojo here, but he said he wants to share his own goals later on when he comes in, so yeah, I'll leave that one for him. This one's an interesting one. Only spend time with people that we love. Sounds simple enough, however, what tends to happen in life is that you end up, I guess you self-sacrifice and you put yourself in positions where maybe you don't want to be, but really the best thing is to surround you with people that make you feel good. I think it was, was it Will Smith who said a really good quote recently? Yeah, it says, the prerequisite of spending time with any person is that they nourish and inspire you. Yeah, so that's almost saying that you surround yourself with people that are, are going to benefit you, make you feel good. Yeah, I know sometimes you don't have a choice if you're in a workplace with people that you don't like very much, but when you can choose who you want to spend time with, then, you know, choose good people because in the past people have made us feel guilty for not spending time with them and we haven't really wanted to spend time with them. That person can say, oh, you're being selfish but then they're being selfish by wanting you to be there, yeah. you know, when you don't really want to. I don't know. If if, if people are positive people, then you want to spend time, then they're yeah, the people course. you people want to spend time. People make you feel good. Yeah. Don't, not, don't spend time with negative, um, what's the word, toxic people. That'll drag you down. Yeah, exactly. That's what we want to do. We just don't want to spend any time with anyone. We want to spend time with people who love, truly love us. A good yeah. gauge I always find, and you always say as well, is that Think about how you feel when you go away from these people. If you go away feeling good, there's the sort of people you want to be around. If you go away not feeling good, then maybe they're not the best people for you. This one's for you. Include more turmeric in your diet. Turmeric or turmeric. Turmeric, turmeric. We're not too sure how it's pronounced. Just include it in your diet. <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm just i always hearing that turmeric is like so good, it's anti-inflammatory, it's like so good for health, and like I've just I've just read and watched so many videos on it, and like I'm just like, wow. I've just got a little pot of it, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on my meals every now and then, really? I think. Yeah. That'd be an interesting taste. Well, it doesn't, I don't think, you know, it doesn't taste that bad if you just have a little bit of it. Scrambled tofu goes on that. Oh yeah, scrambled tofu. This one's a big goal as well that I really want to commit to this year, is writing an ebook. We've got lots of different things we want to write an ebook about, but at least get one of those down. I could write 10 ebooks. Yeah, we've got loads of things flying, but we know it's not constructive to try and focus on 10 ebooks. Just yeah. get one. Now. It's just having the time, isn't it? To yeah. And then we're saying prioritizing. That's what it's about. Prioritizing. Let's know in the comments, guys. 
what do you think we should write an ebook about? What sort of things would you like to read about from us and from everything that you think we may know or like to talk about? Let us know in the comments below. Bob's life story, how about that? Huh? Your life story. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I've got an interesting life. This is an interesting one. Get the big kids in our videos more. Yeah, because they love actually being part of the videos. Yeah. The, our, we're talking about our big team, Sam and Jamie. It's just about organising the time effectively with them because they have full-time commitments with their jobs. Jamie's obviously living away from us now. Yeah. And I guess sometimes we just get in the motion, me, you and Jojo, and we're going and we're going. But sometimes if we plan ones at weekends when it might be yeah. better. Yeah, but they love being part of everything. Yeah. They really enjoyed it at Christmas. Yeah, they did. So, yeah, that's one thing. I want to get them involved a bit more. Do you want to see them more? Let us know in the comments below. Who's your favourite? You can't ask that. <laughs> Who's your favourite? She's thinking and everything, look at her. They're all my favourites in different ways. Oh, this one's a good one. A new super eco car. Yes. We saw we... one down the down, we, we're, we're getting it. Trust. Yes, when we bought our car that we have now, they told us it's the most eco car you can get at the time and we were like, oh, really pleased with that. And that was six years ago. Yeah, but I don't think it is anymore. No. And so there's cars that are a lot more friendly on the environment. And I want a Tesla. We want a Tesla. We saw one the other day and we stepped in it and we chatted to the guy and we, I was just blown away. I don't get blown away by cars. I don't normally care. But everything about it, the spec, the ethos of the company, because completely aligns with us. So you, you're going to see me in a Tesla one day, very soon, this year. It's going on our dream board. Boom. Vroom. This one is what you might have seen us mention on Instagram recently about getting out into nature more. So important connection with nature, whether it's like by the water, the ocean, lakes, trees, just out in the field, yeah. mountains, oh. It's It's really important for us because we live in an apartment building in London. If you're someone that lives in the countryside and has a huge garden, then you probably won't feel how we yeah. feel. But yeah, we just feel like sometimes you look out the window, all you can see is concrete. So Concrete jungle on our doorstep. Yeah. And it's nice to get out to nature and just take deep breaths and get some good exercise. Disconnect, no phone, no screens, nothing. Now you're going there. too far. Hey. <laughs> Collaboration is something we really want to focus on for 2019 as well. Firstly, with other YouTubers, three other YouTubers, in fact. That's we're actually putting a number of this to collaborate with three different YouTubers. Well, we have plans to collaborate with three. That's why I've yeah. got three. There are three different other YouTubers that we are going to do a collaboration with very soon. We're going to meet up with them and do some fun videos. So. Any guesses? Yeah, comment below who you think those three are. Or any recommendations. We've seen some recommendations before. It's not Family Fizz. They may, <laughs> we, we'll probably see them at some point somewhere in the world. Um, but this is three other people, so see so yeah. if you can guess who they are. And on the subject of collaboration, there's also various companies we'd love to collaborate with because we share similar ethos. I mean, we're Lego, you know we're big Lego fans. We're not just big Lego fans because of the products, but because of the ethos of the company. They're very environmentally conscious. They've, they've you know, got good ethics about them. They're trying to use only recycled plastic. Tesla are a good one as well. Yeah. Woman we'll mind them. Tesla, call us if you want to work with us. Tesla need to make a like a car made out of Lego that can run. Wow. That is the dream. That's 2020 that is. I like this one. Read to Katie every night. I've started to get into the habit as well to try and end my days a bit better because normally I'm on I'm on the laptop till very, very late and then I'll close the laptop, brush my teeth and go to bed. And it's not the best way to end. So I want to close on that laptop and read a bit of a book every night. And I read you to sleep, don't yeah, I? Yeah, he reads, he's been doing it for the last like, well, a couple of weeks now. Yeah, it makes me go to sleep, which is really nice. And then you go to sleep just after. And it's with a book and on a subject of something that I'm interested in at the time, or we're both interested in something we're learning about, something to inspire us. This is a big one that a lot of you free game will possibly be interested in. And, and they've asked, a lot of them have asked for yes. this as well. As you know, we already, run a clothing company ethics which we've been doing for the last few years now but you, a lot of you guys because you've been asking about family freedom specific merchandise we're thinking of branching out and creating some specific free gang or family freedom merchandise lots of different designs we've been working on quite a lot over the last six months or so we've got someone working on a specific logo and branding and hopefully we're going to be producing stuff this year for you guys as well so let us know what sort of things would you like to see from us this one for me i mean i say everyone's a big one but this is really important and that is just cutting down the amount of plastic we use yeah we're not perfect and we probably never will be perfect but we are trying to do our best and you know it starts with little things like not accepting plastic bags and things oh we do we've have plastic bags lot, yeah. we have plastic bags but we 
use we take them back to the shop and we reuse them again yeah we very re rarely take one from a shop though do we but it's other things like uh, it's just the packaging on stuff yeah going I to mean, places where you've got loose groceries yeah it was easier to go vegan than it is to reduce plastic yeah. like pl plastic is a is so tough to reduce but we you know we're doing our best it's one of the things that's messing up the planet so and we want a planet for our children and our grandchildren as well so it's important to us this one i guess is for me and that is getting back to running pretty much every other day i was doing it up until we went away to la and I was doing a bit in LA, but since coming back, again, I've let Christmas everything get in the way and I just want to get back on that. I think that's normal though. I think everyone does that. Yeah. Group. They let their routine slip over Christmas. I don't want anything to let my routine slip. These goals are not getting knocked out of the way by anything else. This one is quite specific. There's a project we've had in mind for a while that we want to work on with Disney. So that is something we want to make come alive this year, hopefully. I can't really say too much about it now until it starts happening, but yeah, it's something we're really excited about. This one I like, more adventures. We've been to a variety of very interesting places this year. There was, we stayed on a bus. A hobbit house. Tree house. We're in a tree. And so many different fun places. We yeah. even stayed in the, what was it, the little bluebell caravan in Scotland, didn't we? Oh, that was yes. so cute. So yeah, like more adventures like that, more variety of places, more fun. See what that's available out there. I'd love to see more. What sort of places would you like us to see staying in, guys? Let us know in the comments below. Give us some inspiration, some ideas of fun, interesting places that we could go and stay. Yeah, this one's for me. I really want to get my hair done differently again. Food or cod, food or cod, food or cod. Because I really like, I, I've had this sort of hairstyle my whole life. I've always had ha long hair and always had highlights. When I had that, uh, Funicorn hair. Good. It was just so nice to look in the mirror and see something different. And everyone was saying, "Oh, your hair looks nice," and it was just, it was just different for me. And my my sister even said, "I can't believe you've got different hair because I've literally had this hair the whole all my life." So yeah, you've never changed hairstyle. Yeah. Like so that. thinking of something different. Don't mm. know what yet. Maybe I'll get. I, I do like the funicorn hair. This one was actually suggested by one of the free gang, and that was Bob to wear more colour in his clothing. They put a lol at the end as well, but yeah, I hear what you're saying. Maybe that is something that can be incorporated into us creating family freedom specific merch. We do wear black a lot because we just find it's more practical. Bob doesn't have a lot of clothes either. Yeah. You're very minimal with your clothes. Yeah, and obviously I wear our, our company's clothing ethics and it's very, very sustainable. It lasts long, it's organic cotton. You can wash it lots and lots of times and it re retains the quality. So I don't feel the need to go and buy extra, extra yeah. clothes. But it's like, I think it's just practical as well. When you're a dad and your kid just jumps on you with like- Ice a, cream hands. With ice cream or bar of chocolate or something. Cause that's what they do. Or paints when he's done paint. It just doesn't show up as much. You do wear white clothes sometimes. I do. Told you. I even sometimes introduce multiple colors a little bit. So there. But it's, it's just about when you've got, you just have to be really mindful when you're wearing those clothes. Yeah, the white ones especially. So that's all of our goals for the year, isn't it? Should we get Jojo in now? Yes, because he wanted to, to share some of them. He wanted it? to share, he's got a few to share, so. Jojo! Here's Jojo. Jojo in the house. Boop, boop, woo! <laughs> so you wanted to share some of your goals for 2019, didn't you? What sort of things do you want for 2019? I want to start modelling again just because I really like modelling. Yeah, so Jojo has been doing modelling for clothing, different things, toys, stuff like that since he was about three years old. He just really enjoys it and you said you wanted to do more modelling, didn't you, to me? Yeah. You actually did some the other day, didn't you, with Faith? Yeah. Right, what was your other one you wanted to say? I was thinking of doing um, a bit more music. More music? No. Oh. What sorts of music? Well, I like to learn like how to play the drums and stuff. Drums? Oh, yeah. that's you do that with your dad? Yes, my, dad, my dad's got a really cool drum set. At the moment, Jojo plays the harp and he plays the guitar as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, drums is a really another really good one, isn't it? Is there any places you want to go or things you want to do? 2019? Well, I'd like to go back to Denmark. Denmark, <laughs> of course you do. Yeah, in the winter. When it's cold and there's maybe snow there. Yeah. So you would like a snowy holiday? Yeah. Okay. And also, oh. and so, also I would also um, sometimes like to go to Japan as well. Japan? Good yeah. one. Wow, okay. 
Mm. Oh, they've got Disneyland in Japan as well. Oh, really? Cool. They've got Disneyland everywhere. I would also really like to go to Italy. Italy? Got, yeah, got oh. nice food there. they got nice food there, they? Yeah, yeah, pizza! Daddy's been to Italy before. Twice. I've been to Rome and I've been Ooh. skiing in the mountains. Would you like to go skiing? Oh, yes. Mountain ski. Ski, ski. Well, I've got to learn though. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes you need to take your time with skiing. Yes. Yeah, you can't just go off and break a leg. No. <laughs> what about friends? Do you want to make more friends in 2019? Yeah. Yeah. I want to make a few more friends. New girlfriends? No! <laughs> I'll stay with Sienna for the whole of my life. Aww. <laughs> Aww. That's so sweet. It's offended I even suggested. Yeah. Some people suggested the other day when you were like doing um, modelling with Faith and were saying, was this his new girlfriend or who is this? No, Faith's just your friend, isn't she? Yeah, she's just like an ordinary friend, you know. Just an ordinary friend. She likes you though, doesn't she? Yeah. And Livy, who you did the sign visit video with, she's not your girlfriend, is she? Yeah, she's just another one of my friends. She's, she's your cousin. cousin. She's your cousin. Yeah, she, she's my cousin, yeah. Extended family. <laughs> <laughs> Family. Anything else for 2019, Jojo? I'd also like to help your dad make um, wooden things. Like, I was planning about making a bench with him. Making a bench? Yeah. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah. Oh. You could film it one day. Maybe. Oh, we could do that. Is there anyone else you'd like to help? Well, I'd like to help homeless people a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's really sweet, Jojo. Well, we were actually, some of our goals were talking because about making a bench. I wanted to give five pounds to a homeless man. You mm, did, didn't you? you? We you had did. to stop the taxi. We were in a taxi um, in Leicester Square in London because you were filming for Veganuary and uh, the taxi was about to pull away and Jojo was like, no, there's a homeless man. And we, you, we, we had, had to, to wave him over, didn't we? And then pull the window. Oh yeah, we, took, we gave him it out the window. Yeah. And he had a dog, didn't he, that man? Yeah, doggy. Also, I'd like to win rewards for stuff. Really? Rewards? Yeah. Awards? He means awards. Oh, awards. What kind of awards? Well, you know, like sports awards and stuff. Okay. So maybe we could put you into sort of any sort of competitions where you can win awards. Yeah, I'd really like to do, um, I think, a bit when I'm older, like 17 or something. Baseball. Baseball? Yeah. Cool. You can, you can start that from young as well. Do they yeah. do baseball in they this country? They bring back practice. Maybe softball, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, what would, maybe they do a kid's version of baseball. Maybe. Oh, I know something we need to do in 2019. What? We need to get you a haircut. Oh, man, <laughs> yeah! Look at this stuff. Woo! <laughs> uh, we're, we're, we're heading into, like, old hair territory when Jojo's hair was, like, really long. Yeah, it came down to, like, there or something. Mm. My hair goes down, 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 down. You said you wanted to keep it short, didn't you? From yeah, now I like so. to keep it short from now on. What sort of videos do you want to do 2019? I'd love to do a video when you say yes to everything. We oh. did that on my birthday. I know, but like only you. Only me. And we both have to control you. Oh man. Oh, I get to control him as well. Yeah. Great idea. No, not But, that, but if you do it, I'll do it as well. Oh, cool. Yeah, and pick your promise for that. I want to do a video where you make all our meals again in a day. Yeah. Because that was so funny. <laughs> that was some funny combinations of food that you made us. We had melon and beans. Yeah. yeah. I reckon we should do that again. So that is it, guys, for our 2019 goals. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know in the comments below, though, what are your goals for 2019, if you have any. We would love to hear them. Maybe you can inspire us and hopefully some oh, yeah. of our things have inspired you. Give us some more ideas because I, I like having lots of goals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As many ideas as you can think of. But before we finish this video, I just got a shout out for one of you lovely free gang who has requested them. And today's shout out goes to Ellie Bates who says, Hey, can I have a shout out? I just came out of hospital, but I have to go back Monday and it would be really appreciated. Also, I was re-watching loads of your videos again. Oh, thank you so much, Ellie. Sorry to hear that you're in and out of hospital. I hope things get better no matter what's going on. And if any of you guys ever want a shout out on an upcoming video, leave it in the comments below. We do one every video. And if any of you guys are new to this channel and you like hearing how Jojo will definitely not leave Sienna and will spend the rest of his life with her, then we'd love it if you subscribe to this channel. But if you're already subscribed, hit the notification bell so you're kept up to date on when we do upload videos. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Peace out. No. <laughs>